Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, got the KitchenAid mixer again. Just shot a video on how easy it is and cheap to replace the feet. So if you have a foot that fell off and it's causing it to wobble, you know, check out that link. They'll pop up in your right, top right of your screen. But what if your wobble is coming not from a missing foot, but your pin? Now I've got a couple of videos on, on a loose pin, on if the pin fell out. Uh, but this next, this next video is gonna probably pretty much take care of that as well. And um, because I, I got a replacement screw, what if your screw fell out and you lost it? And now the pin's just popping out. All right, I had a commenter, uh, one of my viewers comment on, on the video said, hey, I actually lost my screw, what do I do? And I gave her a website of a, um, uh, I think it was e, like ereplacementparts.com or something like that. And they're a reputable place online to order pretty much any appliance part you want. But some of the times little stuff is really more expensive than it should be. I mean, it's great if you're needing to order like a whole new head motor and stuff like that, but the little screw, okay, which I got actually from Amazon, uh, which I'll have the Amazon link in the description down below, of course, and hopefully this is the right one. So we're gonna find out real quick if this screw works. But the one on the e replacement parts for my mixer here costs like $20 plus because it was, you know, under $35 or $45. So I would have paid shipping on top of it. So it would end up costing me $30 for one set screw. Or Amazon Prime free shipping, $7. Okay, so. Let's just flip this puppy over and get started. The only things we should need for this video is a towel so we can rest the, uh, the mixer on it on top of your counter and a long uh, straight or flathead, however you guys say it, screwdriver. That should be the only tools that we need. Okay, if you can see down in there, right there, there's a screw. You can see the pin here and the pin there and that screw right between the two of them, that's what's holding the pin tight in place. So if all you need is to recenter your pin and tighten up your screw, that's it right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this screw all the way out and the pin out because we're gonna replace it with a new screw. And just for reference, that's what the screw looks like. It's just a, a set screw that has a straight head slot in it, not an Allen. Most set screws have Allen wrenches, but I understand given where this is, why they chose the, the straight head, okay? And we're gonna go as far, even though we don't have to, I'm gonna pop the pin out because there's a good chance if you lost your screw, you've lost the pin too. Well, I mean, I hope we haven't lost it all, lost it all the way, but hopefully you found it, but I mean, it's probably out. Okay. Let's take that off. It's a little gooey too. We did a lot of cooking here this Christmas. So I thought it was good to pop in a couple of videos for the old KitchenAid. All right, so let's just clean that off real quick because those are places you can't really reach when it's together. Now we're gonna find out here real quick, does the new screw match? Okay, looking at it, it looks like it's a match. So before we go putting this back together, let's put it in the spot, oops, and test it out. And if your mixer is this far apart, this is obviously gonna be easier to put the set screw in instead of with the base on. And it does, it goes right in. So we have a correct replacement. All right, and I'm actually gonna go one step further. So I'm gonna be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I got some thread lock here. Now this is the blue thread lock, which means it is uh, where you can take it back apart later. The red thread lock is the permanent stuff. Okay, but we're, we're gonna generally I almost always use the blue, all right? So we're gonna take the new screw out, okay? And this is something that in my opinion should have been done from factory, okay? Uh, that's why if this was done from factory, then these wouldn't be loosening themselves up and falling out the way they do because it's actually a, a big problem because I have a lot of viewers that, that watch these videos. So I'm just gonna put a drop, a good drop of the blue thread lock Okay, on it. Um, and some people say, you know, give that 15 minutes to dry and, and so it hardens on that spot. And other people say just insert it and it'll fill in the threads. So I normally just insert it right afterwards. And then it can kind of fill the threads up as you set it in place. So I just got it started there so it's not gonna fall out on us. All right, now this part here, okay, so here's our little locking piece right here. So we're gonna pull that back up. 
Okay, so it's not in the locking spot. And then this is the trick that I showed in my other video about putting the pin back in. So you insert the base on. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that's the reason why we're on a towel because the head is the heaviest part, okay? So we want that just to be down here so we can rotate the base. You can drop the pin in. You just gotta wiggle the base around a little bit. So we don't want it like tight, tight. We wanna lift it up just a hair because that should be right. There it goes. It's starting to wiggle in. There we go, just tap it in. Tap it in, a little tap, tap, tap it in. Okay, that's a Happy Gilmore joke. Okay, so the, the pin is flush on both sides. So we're just gonna reach back in here. Okay, trying to show you guys on the camera. We're gonna tighten that screw up all the way. There we go. We're gonna make sure that our screwdriver's in good so we can give it like a little good hard turn to set it so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, when the time span of just like two minutes, I showed you guys how to replace a missing set screw. And maybe it didn't follow all the way. Maybe you just had to tighten it and this video helped you anyways. Uh, please do me a favor, share this video because there's so many more people that have these mixers and they love them, but things are coming loose on them and it's so quick and easy to fix it. So please share it around. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's more videos for you guys to check out. In the description down below will be the Amazon links and my other videos on the KitchenAid mixer. You guys have a great one.